Okay, we have question 10. May, June 2008, paper 2, variant 1. Question about similarity and volume. Okay, um, we're told that a cylindrical glass has a radius of 3 centimeters and a height of 7 centimeters. A large cylindrical jar full of water is similar in shape to the glass. So you have like a cylindrical glass. I'm just going to make a rough sketch of a cylinder. Okay. So I have a cylindrical glass. So it's small. Smaller than the than the jar. So the jar is bigger. I'm just going to make a diagram. It's supposed to be similar. Okay. Now. Um, the radius of the glass is 3 centimeters. And the radius of the jar is... We have to find it. The height of the glass is 7 centimeters. Um, so we've got to find the radius of this and we've got to find the height of this. Okay. What do we know here? They told us the glass can be filled with water from the jar exactly 216 times. So what they've told us is, if we divide the volume of the jug by the volume of the glass, we'll get 216. Okay, because the volume of the jar divided by the volume of the glass is going to be 216, because that can fit into that exactly 216 times in terms of its volume. You pour the water from here 216 times, Okay, you have to fill it up. Okay, if, if I was to fill the, the the jug from the glass from some water somewhere, I'd have to keep putting more water in there. After 216 times, this will now be full. Okay, so that means 216 of these fit into there. So basically what they're telling us in a roundabout manner, not directly, is that the ratio of the volumes is 216. Okay, 216, you can say over 1 if you want, right? That's the ratio of the volumes. We want to find the radius and the height of the jar. Okay, so we can say the radius of the jar is equal to, you can say it's going to be something to do with the radius of the glass, but it's bigger than the radius of the glass. Okay, this is bigger than the radius of the glass. Whoops, 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 whoops. that's not seven. What am I doing? Okay, the radius of the glass is three centimeters. Okay, there's three centimeters. The radius of the glass is three. Okay, times this is the ratio of the volumes 216 over one. I won't bother putting over one. 216 is the ratio of the volumes. I want the ratio of the lengths because the radius is a length. So to find the ratio of the lengths, I've got to find the cube root of the ratio of the volumes. Okay, now the cube root of six, 216. Let's just take it out. The cube root of 216 is equal to 6 times 3 gives you 18. Okay, so the radius is going to be 18 centimeters. Okay, this is equal to 6 basically. So the height similarly is going to be 7 times the square root of the cube root, sorry, of 216. That's going to give you 7 times 6, which is 42. And there we have our answer for this question.